Hello, rock lovers out there. Look at this. What do you think this is? To be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure. I recently bought this from a seller at our little Gym and Mineral Society monthly meeting. It looks to me like it's mushroom rhyolite, but the seller wasn't sure and I'm not sure. All I know is it looks really interesting. I thought for this video, what we'll do is we'll get this piece of mystery rock, get it slabbed, and then make a cabochon out of it. So what I'll do is I'll put this on the saw, make a couple of slabs, and we'll see how they look, and then decide what shape cabochon to make. First things first, we get the stone locked into the vise, nice and tight. We have the vise locked down on the carriage. The carriage is locked in place, and the drive screw's engaged. Next thing we do is throw the switch and start cutting. Check it out. I'm just using the water solvent mixture, so this is, is safe with the cover off. We're almost done with this first end cut here, getting rid of that little lumpy end piece. All right, the cut's finished. Check it out. What do you think of that? That's a neat looking stone, right? So let's move the carriage over and get our first official slab. That first slab was finished and I've moved it over and starting on the second slab, but I think it's going to be a winner. What do you think? You saw it. You saw this interesting stone get slabbed and I got to say it is beautiful. When it was wet, the purple really came out. I like this. I think it might be that mushroom rhyolite, but I'm not sure. So let's take one of these slabs, get a pattern drawn on it, get it trimmed, dopped, and cabbed. How does that sound? Okay, I decided to take this smaller slab and put it just a very standard cabochon shape on there. Now let's get this over to the trim saw, get it trimmed nice and tightly, and then we will dop it and get it cabbed. Well, as you can see before I start trimming, this slab has already broken just by moving it around. So it definitely had a big fracture, but still we must continue. I'm gonna go ahead and keep trimming away, trimming away, trying to get, oh, doggone it, look, it broke again. Well, that's frustrating. Well, rest assured, I'm not going to give up though. I'm going to continue to trim away, turn this into some kind of shape that we can turn into a cabochon. Yeah, it's not great. It's gonna have to do though. I'll go ahead and take this, get it dopped, and then we'll move on over to the cabin machine and start the cabochon making on this 80 grit wheel. Let's go ahead and get a shape, try to make this thing domed. There you go. Well, it looks okay, a little bit like a bean, but it looks okay, it has a nice dome on it. Now we'll move on to the 220 grit wheel and clean that up a little bit. Yeah, all right, it's not horrible. I like the pattern in it, Next up is the 280 grit soft wheel where I push in and get rid of any of the faceting. Okay, okay, it kind of looks like a cabochon, I suppose. Let's move on to the 600 grit wheel. This is where we start to develop a shine. And maybe a little bit. You can see a little bit of a shine in there. Now we'll go to the 1200 grit. This normally is what starts to bring out the, the good shine. Ah, yep, check it out. That looks a lot better. Remember, I always show these dry. So we're getting a shine. Let's move on to the 3000. And how will it look after the 3000 grit? Oh, look, check that out. I like that. We can do a little bit better though. Let's move over to the wet belt sander and the cerium belt. See what that does to our shine. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Okay, it, it sort of looks like a cabo shine now. Maybe a little bit of undercutting, but I still like it. Let's take it inside and take a closer look. Okay, the cabochon is all finished. Check it out, what do you think? <laughs> I know, it's not much to look at as far as the size, but I did the best I could. The thing had some fractures. Why is it when I start to freeform cabochons, they always end up looking like a little bean? <laughs> I don't know why that is. Overall though, I, I like it. I think the pattern's great. I'll have to get a bigger slice of this stuff and make a more, more appropriate cabochon. Because look at the detail in there. I think that's beautiful. The colors and the patterns. So I'm not unhappy with it. Just wish it hadn't broken up on me. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. And I hope you check my other videos for more like this. Thanks again.